Hey everyone, William here from Gadget Beacon again. Um, I figured while I'm doing my MLB jersey review, I might as well pull out the NFL ones too and uh, do that. So here on the left, I have my real NFL shop jersey from Nike, and then I have my fake um, jersey from AliExpress. And this is the third time I've recorded this video because my phone keeps uh, discarding the video, so I've deleted a bunch of stuff, and hopefully this one uh, works because I'm kind of sick of recording this. <laughs> It's been a couple of tries. Anyway, let's dive right into this. Um, this is your $25 AliExpress jersey, and as far as jerseys go, it's pretty damn good. Like, I'm, If I have to put $25 towards a jersey, the NFL jerseys seem to be a lot higher quality than the MLB ones, especially um, with the patches here. You can see there's not the wrinkling issue that we had on the MLB jersey. Uh, we still have some cross-stitching issues in the logo, and some of the, lo the letters are a little bit off, but... From a distance, you really can't tell. Unless you're like right in my face, looking at my jersey, you're not going to know the difference. Um, and if when you're wearing these jerseys, you're going to probably be eating nachos, drinking beer, whatever, eating a hot dog. You're going to get stains on them. And this is modeled after a $300 jersey. $25, you throw this on, who cares if you spill on it, man? Like you wash it. Maybe it falls apart. I haven't washed this yet. Maybe they fall apart in the wash. I don't know. I actually probably should test that. <laughs> Maybe I'll update that. I'll update that in a future video. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, anyway, this is my watch of the three hundred dollar jersey, which is the elite, uh, which I do not own because I don't. I don't think that spending three hundred dollars on a jersey is worth it if you're going to get beer on it. Um, and then this is the hundred fifty dollar jersey. Uh, this is Danny Woodhead's, uh, one of my favorite players, and uh, this is argue. This is arguably the best jersey for your money. Uh, if you want to buy a real one, the game day jersey just is too cheap. It, even at ninety nine dollars, it feels too cheap. Like it's not, it doesn't feel like a jersey to me. It feels more like a thick t shirt, and this one feels like a jersey. Uh, and I have the game day jersey behind it. I'll go over that in a little bit. There's not a lot of things different between it, but I don't know what it is. It's, just, it's different, and I like this one better. I've given my two of my brothers um, these jerseys as well. And uh, I own this for Danny Woodhead, and I own it for Andrew Luck, and I really like wearing them. Um, I think it's my favorite jersey by far. Um, anyway, going through the differences, uh, the patch here is it's uh, stitched on, but it's not quite the same stitching that you see on this AliExpress. And again, I don't have the $300 version, so I can't really compare those. But if you're going to compare it to the $150 version to this one, um, this one is actually more comfortable to wear because these patches have a little more flex to them. And uh, especially on the back of this, I really feel these, these patches are really thick. Like I feel them on my back and they, they don't really bend that easily. Like it's kind of a big square. The whole thing like stays like that. I guess it's, it's rigid, I guess is the right word, but uh, it's not the biggest. I mean, it's $25 again, like who cares? Um, the biggest uh, flaw that I have on this jersey, I think, is where this is all stitched in. You can see it, it's, it's wider here than it is here. This is thinner. And then uh, there's just some stitching issues. And there's even a, a color difference uh, between this and that. And I don't know if that's intentional or not, but those are two different colors. Um, one thing I'll say about the AliExpress ones, though, is that the Chargers recently switched to the gold name on the back. And AliExpress was really quick to update that because... Uh, <laughs> I bought my game day jersey from a real um, NFL shop, and they didn't even have the newest jersey in stock. I got an old one before I even knew what I was doing. It's probably my first jersey I ever owned. I got the wrong one. It was like an older style, and uh, even AliExpress with these fake ones, they're they're only selling the new style unless it says it's a throwback. Uh, when you order one of these jerseys, you're going to get the ones that look like the ones you buy in the shop, which is really that's good quality control. It's good attention to detail. A um, couple things with this jersey that I don't like. Um, that crosses into there. That shouldn't happen. And then uh, these stitches are pretty stiff. And I could iron them out, um, but I haven't. Uh, so I notice even at the game in San Diego that I've seen guys wearing fake jerseys. And I can tell because it's it's uh, the patch is always like bent. And this has been an issue with AliExpress jerseys on almost all of them that I've ordered. Um, and I've given away like a Steelers one, the Green Bay one, and, and the Green Bay and the Steelers jerseys are almost flawless. I gotta say, those are probably the two 
Um, best looking fake jerseys I've seen. Probably just because they sell more by volume. Like they probably have more Pittsburgh fans and Green Bay fans ordering jerseys than the. Uh, it's not a lot of people ordering a Brandon Flowers jersey. Uh, no offense to Brandon Flowers. Cool guy. Just probably doesn't sell a ton of jerseys. Um, one area I really like with these is the NFL Shield. I, I almost feel like they actually steal this from the real factory because it is one solid rubber piece and the letters are a little bit raised. And when you go over to the fake, or the real one rather, um, it looks a lot similar. Uh, the only difference is, is that this is more of a matte finish and the letters are a little more raised and this is kind of a glossy finish. You can just tell by the light. But from a distance, again, like they're almost identical in size. They look pretty close. Really not a lot to complain about there. Um, so going to the back of the real one, I don't, I don't want to make this the longest video in the world, but, uh, so I apologize if it is, but I'm going to, I'm going to be kind of detailed and go over as much as I can. So with these powder blues, um, they don't have it in the gold lettering for this one, but you'll see that the, the, the frame that the word, the lettering is in is, uh, is straight. You know, it's like, it's perfect, which it should be at $150. And then the letters, again, are uh, pretty flexible material, but they are stitched in. Um, and then these are a lot thicker um, and stiffer, I guess. But overall, not a bad jersey. Uh, one thing, again, another difference is the athletic mesh. This mesh isn't, they're, they're not really holes. They're just kind of like slots to allow breathing, um, of, or airflow rather. And then these ones are just... They're just holes, like, I don't know uh, what it's supposed to look like because I don't own the real one, but it looks off to me. Um, anyway, I'm going to move on to a different jersey, so I'm going to take that one away. That's the uh, 25, That's the Elite uh, $25 AliExpress jersey, and this is the Game Day knockoff jersey, um, which is also the same price, $25, so keep, I mean... Do with that what you will, but this one's more similar to this one, so that's why I'm going to compare them, because there, there are more similarities between these two than there are differences. How about that? So the athletic mesh, you'll notice, is more similar on this one than it was on the previous one. I'll pull that one back again, because I might not have talked about it, but when you look at this one, you'll see there's a big grid of athletic mesh on the bottom, and then you have them over here by the armpits, okay? And then on this one, you just have one stripe going from the armpit down the side. You don't have that one on the front. Okay, and then you go back to this AliExpress JJ Watt jersey, and it's this is the game day jersey knockoff, and you have the same thing going down the armpit one length. You don't have it in the front here. Okay, um, and then the other difference is that this one says it has the medium tag, and this one has the medium tag, whereas this one has the 40. It doesn't say medium, large, or small. It has the actual size. And it, this one is modeled after a totally different jersey. And I get that. But I got I to gotta at least talk about it, you know. So, anyway, moving on. These patches are still pretty thick and rigid um, like the other one. So, they're still not um, quite the same. But you can tell, because this is a 9 and this is a 9, they're the same font almost. But they are completely different looking letters. This is a flat white. This is a glossy white. I don't own a real Texans one. I'm assuming that they're not supposed to be like a glossy, shiny white color um, like this one is. And then again, cross-stitching for days. Man, I don't know what is up. And what is up with that X? <laughs> like that is not... There's some of these jerseys, man. They just come and they have... I don't know what they were doing over there, but anyway, this one doesn't have that waxy stripe on it like this one does. So, if you want to fool someone into thinking this is the $150 jersey, that's the first dead giveaway that it's not. And maybe that's just a Texans jersey thing, because I don't own the real Texans jersey, but I'm pretty sure that it, they have, they all have that waxy stripe on them. Um, I have a Philip Rivers game day jersey behind this one that I'll compare it to for that reason, because this one does not have that either. This is the $99 game day jersey. This is the first one that I ever got. Uh, it has the older like uh, 2000, I think it was a 2012 look with the white collar. And then uh, same thing. I mean you got the stripe going from the armpit down the side. 
Really, the only difference between this one and the 150 is the collar and then the lettering. This is screen print uh, instead of stitched, and uh, that's the and even the the logo up here. This is all screen printed. It feels like a a nice T-shirt when you wear it. I really think that the step up to the $150 jersey is worth it because it feels like a real jersey. Um, backside, my camera stopped working again. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, you have the box looks different on this one as well. There's not any of that athletic mesh, um, and this is all stitched where this is uh, also screen print. So that's it as far as the game day knockoff jersey goes. You're not going to find a ton of knockoff game day jerseys. You're really only going to find that elite style with the mesh. Uh, and then you're even going to find weirder ones like this one, which is kind of modeled after the old uh, Reebok style. But this one's from eBay, and this is just... I'm going to be honest. I This jersey is so wrong in every possible way. I got, it didn't look like this in the picture. It was just supposed to be a Philip Rivers jersey, but the whole entire thing is athletic mesh. It's like a uh, like a flag football uh, penny instead of a jersey. And then this, the letters just look weird. It's the same font, but like, my God, man, this jersey is just bad. Like, you win some, you lose some. But this one, is, this is an eBay one. This is a loss. This is a fail. Like, the, the collar feels weird and looks weird when you wear it. Uh, the logos are totally off. Like, this is a little lightning bolt. Like, that's not right. You can tell behind it how the lightning bolt's supposed to look. This is just, like, you really got to know where you're buying it from. There's there's tons of different sellers in AliExpress and eBay, and some are more uh, legitimate than others, I guess. They're not, they're, none of them are legitimate, but uh, some are better than others, I should say. Um, this is just uh, this is just one that's just bad. I, I, I'm embarrassed to wear this one. I've never worn it, um, but I kept it for comparison's sake. Uh, this is uh, one of my Rivers jerseys. Same exact thing as the uh, Branded Flowers one. This is $25 from AliExpress. Um, the only thing that's different about this is the wax has like a yellowing color to it. And it's not supposed to look like that. Otherwise, all the same problems or lack of problems as the, uh, the Branded Flowers one. I do see weird discolorations in the number here. And I've... I don't know how much of that's me or how much of it's the jersey. Um, I see it a little bit in the one, more on the seven. Uh, there is a little stain there. I did wear this to a game. So again, like going back to the stains, $25. Who cares if you stain it? I do need to wash this one though. That's kind of gross. I'm sorry. Uh, the back side, same thing. Uh, this one has one of the better looking name boxes I've seen actually. Um, and this is actually my favorite knockoff one, this white one, because you really can't mess up the color white. Like, you can get the wrong color powder blue, which I used to have. I gave most of them away. But I did have a uh, powder blue um, Man Manta Teo jersey, and that one was totally the wrong color powder blue. It was so off, I was embarrassed to wear it, so I gave it away to someone. Uh, the white one, you really can't mess up. So I like wearing this one to the games because uh, when I'm on the trolley, you know, like, it's... So everyone's bumping into each other, everyone's sweaty, I don't really care if I'm sweating in it, if I'm getting a stain, if I'm bumping into anybody, like I really don't want to wear my $150 jersey. Where I do like wearing my $150 jerseys um, when I'm watching the game at a bar near my house, or I'm wearing it at home on my couch, you know, like, this is where I like, and I like wearing it outside to go shopping that day, like if I'm going to, if the Chargers win at 10 a.m., and I want to walk around town and, and be proud of my team, like, I'll wear the $150 jersey around all day and then I'll take it off at night and be done with it for the week. But this is like the best game day jersey possible. This is the best jersey to buy if you're gonna go to a game. If you don't care that it gets dirty, if you just want to sweat in it, like this is a great jersey to buy. $25. You can get it any color you want, any team you want, any player you want. AliExpress.com. Like far better investment than in the MLB jerseys in my opinion. Um I really have not been uh disappointed with many of the NFL jerseys, except for this uh, totally bizarre eBay one. And uh, I'm going to keep this forever just because of how bizarre it is. <laughs> I don't know what it was supposed to be, but it certainly doesn't look like a real one. Anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. I'm kind of done uh, recording videos, so uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to. 
Um, I'm going to try to do more videos in the future. Um, let me know what you want me to talk about. I got a lot of shit to record. Like, I'll really kind of done with uh, computers and electronics, to be honest with you. I want to record some uh, other stuff. I'm still going to use this channel, though, because I like the name and I already own it, and why not, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.